We're not wasting any time today, ladies and gentlemen. We are jumping right on in, and today we are going to finger roll. That's right, not finger coil. Finger roll my entire head of hair. I have wanted to do this for so long. Honestly, I've been putting it off like, oh, I don't have time, I don't have time. Y'all, it is 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? I've really never had less time on my hands, but today is the day. No idea if you can tell on camera, but I do have some pink in my hair. You may be asking yourself, India, why is there pink in your hair? I think this is the first April Fool's I've ever done, like on social media. I just sounded so Southern, and it was great because everyone believed it, and it was so fun and awesome, and I actually Actually loved having pink hair. I used the Kristen S rose tint and I really really loved it but it has definitely left my hair feeling very like dry, damaged, no shine and you know a little pink. So <laughs> I'm gonna start off dry brushing it to detangle it because y'all <sighs> it's so bad. To detangle I'm gonna jump in with the Rizos Curls Refresh and Detangle Spray. I have hardly any left um, because it is truly that good. Oh my gosh no no. <laughs> This is specifically created for curly girls in mind, but if you have children, even if they have straight hair, if they get really, really detangled, game changer. Simply start from the bottom and work your way to the top. If your hair has a slight Hermione Granger appearance to it, it's a little bit puffy and fluffy, it's very possible that you have wavier curly hair and might not know it. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see how the finger rolling works on my wavy hair. Hitting the like button right there is free to you and helps me out so, so very much in the algorithm. So be sure to hit that like button. And before popping into the shower, I wanna give a big thank you to Glaze for sponsoring this quick portion of today's video. I've worked with Glaze one time before and you guys really enjoyed it. They're a newer brand with vegan and cruelty-free super glass glazes for your hair. Glaze super glasses come in nine different shades and last for about up to 10 washes. So today I'm gonna be using the transparent glaze, my friends. The sheer glow and transparent isn't gonna put any semi-permanent color into your hair. It's only gonna add that lustrous mirror glaze shine. Glaze super glosses are ammonia-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free, and silicone-free, so they are Curly Girl method approved. I personally get about three full uses out of the bottle applying the product to dry hair from root to tip before getting in the shower. Now if you have significantly longer hair than me of course that would be different or shorter hair you might get a little more a couple more uses out of it. I'm just gonna spread her on down. A lot of you tried glaze the last time I worked with them and really enjoyed them. They do newly have a subscription service if that's something you're interested in maintaining the shiny results a month after month. If you are interested in their subscription service, you can get 10 months off always. Or if you are new to glaze, you can get 20% off with code India 20. I don't make money if you use the code. I just really want to get that for you guys. They also have a money back guaranteed policy if you are not happy with the products, which I personally really appreciate. So if you're interested, be sure to check it out in the links down below. Let's pop into the shower and stay tuned for my glazed results. I am jumping in with the Kerastase shampoo. It is a purple shampoo. Y'all, I am trying to get this pink the heck out of my hair. <laughs> so I needed something really strong with some sulfates to hopefully help finally rid me of the pink. And then I jumped in with the day conditioner. Y'all, this stuff is so good and the curly community is really sleeping on it because it's fire. I'm fresh out the shower and today I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Leave-In Styler as my styling product. Um, I don't want to try any new products. I don't want for our styler to have any impact on our result. And I am applying this styler to soaking wet hair, ladies and gentlemen. Soaking wet. From all the tickety tack talks that I've watched, I just sound like an 80 year old. <laughs> From all the TikToks that I've watched, <laughs> everyone that does the rolling method, um, sections out their hair because this does take a minute. So we're gonna start on this side. So I'm gonna just r pop this hair up while we work on the right hand side and I'm actually also going to section this hair in half and start from the bottom and then work our way to the top. All the tickety tacks that I watched, um, everyone smoothed out the hair first and then took the sections and it appears that it's best to use like just two fingers. I saw some people using three, but it came out with like these huge, I'm going for a more defined look. 
So we're gonna just use two fingers, and I think I'm gonna alternate rolling them like inward and outward, just like I typically would when I used to use a curling iron way back in the day. I think the only thing I'm unsure of is how big of a section to take, so bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me as we figure this out here together. Oh, am I doing it? I think I'm doing it. I think I'm doing it. Maybe it's unraveling. Okay, that was a great first attempt. Let's rewind and try that again. Um, maybe I was doing too big of a section because it completely just split into two. Okay. I'm getting excited. <laughs> okay, things are happening. It's that it gets really tight when I get to the top. I think that's the part that I'm struggling with here. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, this is something that I think you just have to like do a couple times until you get it and then I feel like I could see it becoming just like secondhand nature where you're just like, like kind of like braiding, like until you learn how to braid you're like, <gasps> But then once you get it, you're like, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. Okay. I think I'm gonna speed up the rest of this, but I am going to do my entire head of hair. Should I set a timer so that we can see how long this goes? I mean, this could take a second, folks. This could really take a second. And then at the end, my plan is to scrunch in like some, um, some gel and then diffuse and see our results. Okay. I'm gonna put Bridgerton on because I'm watching season two and I would imagine this is gonna take a while, so. Lady Martinez will be back in a moment. Please hold. <laughs> that was horrible, okay. Up close and personal, this is how the curls are turning out. It does look more defined, wet than it normally does, like a little more spirally. I'm gonna go diffuse and show you our results. We have a lot to unravel here. Okay, first off, this is the curliest my hair has ever looked without like pin curling it or of course using curling iron or just really anything. Honestly, this is the curliest that it has ever been. I mean, I have not had spiral curls like this in a minute. I mean, that literally looks like a perfect, <laughs> it literally looks like a perfect curling iron curl. And like honestly, it looks even prettier and bouncier in person. I'm kind of obsessed. I will say that this took literally forever. I wanna say it took about 40 minutes to finger roll my entire head of hair. Now bear in mind, this was my first time doing it. So I would imagine I would get better and quicker at it. I will say that this side did not turn out as well, but I think that's because I simply got lazy. <laughs> like this side of my hair is a little bit curlier in general for some reason typically, but like I started off with like tighter, um, on this side and like more like individual pieces and then over here I just started like getting lazy with it y'all the curls were getting really wide and like bigger pieces So this side gave a little bit more of an s-shaped wave while this side gave more of a literal spiral curl So I can definitely see a difference in technique and result overall honestly I'm pretty shocked and pleasantly surprised. I just think it's really pretty and healthy and I feel like Aisha I've always wanted to feel like Spicer. Honestly, I couldn't be happier with the results, but this did take a very long time. So I don't think I, th I think I got distracted, but <laughs> it took about 40 minutes to finger roll and over an hour to diffuse because I was using warm air instead of hot. Um, I was trying to get it like as frizz free as pr and perfect as I possibly could. Essentially a two hour process, but you get this perfect definition with of course no heat damage. So pros and cons for sure. Comment down below letting me know if you have tried finger rolling and what you think. Is this the result that you're expecting on my wavy hair? Would love to know all of y'all's thoughts on finger rolling. Uh, once again, biggest of thank yous to Glaze for sponsoring today's video. Check out the link in the description box down below to get your shine today. <laughs> Bye y'all.